The war, war had been raging for 21 months and Germany had launched a blitz on Britain, including Belfast. The German planes used to come up from the, the south and fly over Dublin along the coast. And they bombed Belfast in March, I think it was, 1941. And the Belfast authorities, Stormont, asked de Valera, the Irish Prime Minister, the Taoiseach at the time, for help. Some people say that that was the reason that Germany bombed Dublin as an act of revenge for de Valera infringing neutrality. First two bombs went off in the Summerhill area, but there were no deaths there. So it's called the North Strand bombings because of the amount of deaths that occurred in this particular area. In the part that we're standing on now is roughly where the bomb landed. And it was made for bombing ammunition factories in Britain. So it had a high density explosion rate. And that's what caused most of the damage, not the bomb itself, but the blast from it, which caused most of the damage. My eldest sister said to my mother, Mammy, she said, I hear terrible noise. My mother and Margaret went out to open the door and she was shoved back against the stairs. I probably was only about six, but I do remember my mother coming up the stairs and said to Angela and I, get up quick. We have to, you have to dress yourself, she said, because Mr. Halpin next door is taking us in. My mother said, we all have to go to confession. We said, why have we to go to confession for? She said, well, we don't know whether we're going to have a recurrence of this. We're lucky to be alive. So that was my experience of the bombing. We all still feel the effects of what happened 80 years ago. The whole community has completely changed and we really want to highlight that, that people take for granted the way it is and they don't remember that it was because of the bomb that happened 80 years ago. What we're doing on Monday the 31st is the Lord Mayor and the German Ambassador are going to come down to this park here and lay two reeds at, at the monument there. Also, the woodworking workshop in Arbor Hill Prison have made 28 crosses with the names of each family on them and we place those around the railings and the curbs around the railings. We have the East Walls GIF group have made 28 little boats which we're going to float on the canal and there's one for each person that died. And then we will go around to Charleville Mall Library where the two videos, a video by Professor Mary Muldowney of DCC will be launched and our video will be launched. With stories of uh, people that survived, they're going to be broadcasting screens that are going to be in some of the shop windows around the area. We see this ceremony and similar ceremonies about honouring, remembering, learning and moving forward. So taking on the lessons that we learn and moving forward with those. I think it's important for people to know their area and where it came from because it sheds light on who they are and on their community as it is today. So I hope people will get more interest in the history of the actual area because there's so much history here.